Every story has a beginning. My story starts over a year ago, when my life changed rescuing Mona from an animal shelter. It's really nice to take a dog that might not have had such a great life and give it a really loving home. It was love at first sight. I'm 64 years old, semi-retired, and teach part-time. My wife works full-time, and my two daughters have lives of their own. So I'm alone a lot. That's where Mona comes in. My doctor thought a dog would bring emotional well-being into my life, and by extension, the lives of my wife and kids. Well, he was right. Terry's behavior changed when we got Mona. He seemed to have more of a purpose with the kids really on their own. There was very little to do around the house. We took road trips to the beach and to various dog runs and parks. And we found a new wonderful world of dogs and dog people. New friends with one thing in common, a love for their dog. Marv is a character. He's extremely independent, extremely stubborn, and extremely loving. We'd never had a dog in the house but it soon got comfortable, and he just became part of the family. This is Oscar. Now, since he had his surgery, he's like this now in a wheelchair. I love him and I miss him. We adopted a dog because I love dogs. There ain't no such thing as too many dogs. I often think of my early days with Mona. Everything was new and different for her. But soon she began to trust me. Mona's my dog now. And I'm the one who cares for her most of the time. These creatures are tuned into nature. I think that's where the love comes from. They understand that. Just love is better than hate. Mona Mabry Katz. Loving Mona. About love and friendship. The unconditional love that you give to a pet and that you get back from a pet makes people better. I just want her to have the best life possible. For more information, please go to lovingmona.com.